So what happened between national leadership and local chapters that kicked this off? The appointment of Patrice Cullors to executive director, um, the formation of the political action committee, and uh, the formation of Black Lives Matter Grassroots, which was an activist arm of the Black Lives Matter Global Network. And from there we saw um, a statement that was released a few weeks ago from local Black Lives Matter chapters calling for accountability and saying that these decisions that were made were done without their consent um, and without conversation with these local chapters that had been organizing with Black Lives Matter from the beginning. In an open letter, these local chapters raised concerns about financial transparency. And this is important because there, a lot of money was poured into the national leadership, right, uh, in donations by the end of June. Just how much money and what are these local organizers objecting to? And so we know that by the end of June, Black Lives Matter uh, had brought in about $13 million in donations. Yet at the same time, local organizers were saying that they hadn't seen any of the funds that were raised over the summer. Patrice Cullors is the founder of Black Lives Matter. Um, and in a statement has said that, you know, she had, she did assume the role of executive director with the consent of chapters, yet local chapters said that's actually not the case. 